With the old TS3 Plus, CalDigit made its name as the leading manufacturer of Thunderbolt 3 docks. They hope to repeat this success with their latest dock featuring Thunderbolt 4 technology, aptly named the TS4, which brings a bit more of everything. In this video, I'll cover the differences between the TS3 Plus and the TS4, give my opinions on using the TS4 so far, and a little bit of purchasing advice at the end. And to set the groundwork, I was a very content user of the CalDigit TS3 Plus with my 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro and the other MacBook Pros that I had before that. And my home and office setup consists of the same 20 inch LG 4K ultrafine USB-C display, uh, three USB-C hard drives, so two Samsung T5s and one CalDigit Tough Nano Drive, uh, Ethernet, and also a Apple Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad. And so for the most part with this setup, the CalDigit TS3 Plus has served me really well and I really enjoyed that one cable life. I simply get to my desk, plug in a single cable and off I go. And now let's talk about the TS4 or should I call it the TS More because it brings more of everything. Sorry. So as you can see here next to the TS3 Plus, the TS4 has still retained the same uh, tiny tower design. And just like the TS3 Plus, you can use it in uh, vertical and horizontal uh, orientations. Uh, in the box, they also include these little silicon rails that you can put it on the side so the TS4 doesn't slide around. And as you can probably see with them next to each other, the TS4 is slightly larger. It is a little bit more uh, space gray as well. And the little status LED on the front is now white instead of blue. And this theme of more also extends the ports. Because the TS4 uses Thunderbolt 4, there is more bandwidth. And with that extra bandwidth, CalDigit went all out. And so starting off with the Thunderbolt ports, on the TS4, there are now two additional Thunderbolt 4 ports instead of one. And the charging rate of the Thunderbolt port has also been increased from 87 watts to 98 watts. And the Thunderbolt ports on the TS4 now support up to an 8K display as opposed to up to a 5K display on the TS3 Plus. And in Apple terms, this means the TS4 can support a two studio displays or pro display XDRs. There's also a display port 1.4 port, which also supports HDMI if you have an active adapter. And on the TS4, there is now five USB-A ports instead of four on the TS3 Plus. And they also support a faster transfer rates. And there's also three USB-C ports instead of two. And it also supports faster data transfer rates. The ethernet port is now 2.5 gigabit instead of one gigabit on the TS3 Plus. There's also an extra set of audio ports on the TS4. So there's a set on the front as well as the back. Uh, but only one set can work at a time. And this technically isn't a port, but the TS4 now has a Kensington security slot. So you can uh, lock the TS4 to your desk to deter thieves from your uh, currently very rare TS4. And there's a whole lot more ports, but I haven't finished yet. So Thunderbolt 4 is cross compatible with USB 4. This means that you can now also use USB C devices with the CalDigit TS4. So you can now use a TS4 with a Chromebook or an iPad Pro as well as your MacBook Pro. Uh, I tested it with my 2018 iPad Pro with USB-C and it works. And the USB-C port on the front of the TS4 now supports 20 watt charging, which is great for charging small devices like phones and iPads. And the last and most welcome improvement to me was the addition of a feature called offline charging. And this means that certain USB ports on the TS4 will continue to provide power even if the machine connected to it is sleeping. The offline charging ports on the TS4 are marked and I do like that there is a combination of USB-A and a USB-C charging port that supports this offline charging feature. These offline charging ports are perfect for charging small devices like phones, but also accessories while you're not using the computer like the keyboard, trackpad, or the magic mouse. So those are all the specs and improvements. What does that mean to me as a very satisfied TS3 Plus user? I'd say that my experience with the TS4 so far has been pretty good. 
Uh, I really do enjoy the offline charging feature, which saves me one power brick. I do wish that the front port was 30 watts, so it would support things like Nomad's uh, MagSafe chargers, but that could just be a me problem. A lot of the Apple MagSafe accessories require just a 20 watt USB-C port. I found that transfer speeds between my USB-C drives and SD cards to be pretty consistent between the two docks. And in my early use of the TS4, there have been a couple of issues where it didn't play nice with Mac OS. The first issue I came across was that sometimes the machine would kernel panic when it sleeps, but this was fixed with Mac OS 12.3. The second issue is a bit of a weird one, where if I sleep the machine for a while, say 30 minutes and come back, when I wake the machine, my external display, the LG 4K display, would display at 1080p. And the solution so far is to unplug and replug the Thunderbolt cable into my MacBook Pro, which is a little bit inconvenient. I'm hoping that there'll be a fix soon, but I'm not really sure whether it's a Mac OS issue or a CalDigit firmware issue. And so the next question is, as a CalDigit TS3 Plus owner, is the TS4 a must-have upgrade? To me, it isn't. From my usage of the CalDigit TS3 for the past few years, I haven't really found it particularly lacking, and I haven't needed things like the extra ports as yet. I do find things like the iPad compatibility interesting, but it's not something that I must have right now. That could change with iPad OS improvements, but for now, it's just a interesting thing to have. I will say though, I will really, really miss the offline charging capability. And that leads on to the next question. Assuming that I didn't have a TS3 Plus, which dock would I get if I had to buy one today? I'd say definitely the TS4. All that moreness in terms of the ports and stuff gives you a little bit of extra headroom in the future. It is more expensive, but the niceness of those extra Thunderbolt 4 ports and features like offline charging and USB compatibility make up for that price difference. And on the subject of pricing, the CalDigit TS4 is $599 in Australia. Not a small amount of money, but well worth it for a dock with every port that you'll ever need. And there you have it. That is my first experiences with the CalDigit TS4 and how it compares to my old TS3 Plus. If you have any questions about the TS4 or even the TS3, let me know in the comments down below. Do also let me know if you want me to make more videos about other CalDigit products and how it compares with the TS4 and the TS3 Plus. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.